Make sure you've headed up your notes, which you should have already done. Let's review functions. Oh. We've covered functions already. We said that if we have f of x is equal to something, f of x is the same thing as y. y. This is expressing a relationship between two variables, and this can be graphed to give us a representation on an x, y axis. You have a question? Oh, you're just waiting to me? Okay. Hi. Um, before we get to this, never mind, I locked it in place. All right. 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Review. What is that the graph of? Uh, nope. A parabola. It is the graph of a parabola in ax squared plus bx plus c form. Which means that this tells me the y-intercept of this parabola, or where it crosses the y-axis. We talked about parabolas that opened up and down, and then parabolas that opened left to right. This specific parabola, how would it open? Uh, up. up. It opens up. We know that there are two x's for every <coughs> y value. So we know it either opens up or down. And because the first term is positive, it's opening up. Okay? Very good. We're not graphing, though. That was just for review purposes. Whoa. Is that you have to factor that? Not right now. If we are evaluating parabolas, okay, how many of you ever watched the Bugs Bunny cartoon? Okay, did y'all see the episode where uh, Elmer Fudd, like, kicks him out of his garden and he can't steal the carrots anymore, so he makes a machine to where he can make carrots? And he puts, like, old shoes and buckets and whatever in the machine and, like, little square green carrots pop out or little teeny tiny green. And he keeps trying and making adjustments until finally a, a carrot comes out that tastes good so he can make his own. Well, that is an example of a function. It's not a very realistic function because you put a shoe in, you're not going to get a carrot out. But that is an example. What we are saying here. When we say the function of x is, what do I get when I plug x into this expression? So if I said, what is f of 3, <coughs> we are asking ourselves, when you plug 3, or you put 3 into this expression, what do you get? All right, so let's do this. If I want to find the value of f of 3, that means that everywhere there's an x, I'm plugging in a 3. Now, what is our order of operations? Please say them right the first time so I feel like I've taught you something this year. Exponents. Okay, well, that was weak. But PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction is our order of operations. Now, when we say parentheses, we mean any type of group, okay? Any type of grouping symbol. So there's really no groups involved here. So we're going to go to exponents, which would be 3 squared here. So we have 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 5. Then we're going to move to multiplication. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 3 times 3 is 9. And then finally we can do our addition and subtraction. And so what I have here is 22. Interpret that. What does that mean? F of x is y is 22. No. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hi, can I get you to pick up, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to do It needs to be done today. All she has to do is pass them out with the letter. It's it. Seal it and put it in my box. It's very simple. Thank you. Okay.
if this is a representation that can be put on an xy axis or an xy graph, I have just found an ordered pair. What are the coordinates of that coordinate or that thing? 22, 322. What I have just figured out is that I've just pinpointed an actual location on a graph. All right, now somebody tell me what quadrant this would be located in. First quadrant. Quadrant 1, where X and Y are both positive, okay? All right, this is a relationship. Now, something else we need to know is that every function, or these are, excuse me, graphs of what kind of stuff? Straight lines. Straight lines. When you have linear equations, that is the representation of two variables are two things that have a relationship between each other. Now, you need to know this terminology. If two things have a direct relationship between each other, it means that they have a positive slope. It's represented as a line with a positive slope. Could we graph f of x equals x plus 1 very simply? Is that not in y equals mx plus b form? Yes, where the coefficient of x is the slope of our line and the 1 is the y-intercept. We graph this by starting with our y-intercept and from that point moving according to this slope, which is 1 or 1 over 1. This is the line that represents the relationship between whatever two things we're talking about. It is a positive sloping line, which means these two things have a direct relationship. For instance, what happens to your level of responsibility as your age increases? Your level of responsibility increases also. There is a direct relationship between your age and your level of responsibility until you get to a certain age, and then it goes back the other way, okay? But we'll just pretend we don't get old. All right? How would we graph this g of x? Same way. Where do we start? The y-intercept. Negative 3 on the y-axis. From that point, my slope is 2 over 1. My slope is 2 over 1, so I go up 2 and to the right 1. Another direct relationship. Now, let me t let's see if we can interpret this. <coughs> Look at these two lines. Which one has a steeper slope? The, right one. the one on the right. Can you tell me what that might mean? The uh, slope is a bigger number. Going up faster. Um, yeah. It's going up faster. So basically, the relationship between these two things says, okay, as one variable increases, so does the other. But this relationship here, as one variable increases, the other one increases faster because your slope is steeper. Okay? Um, and I am just at a loss for giving you a illustration. So we'll just have to go with that. Okay, let's, can somebody think of an example of an inverse relationship between two things that deal with life? That as one thing increases, the other decreases. Okay, well, let me give you some things, and you will tell age and energy. Very good. Very good. Age and energy. The older you get, the less energy you have. Okay? That would be an inverse relationship. I'm going to name some things. You tell me if it's a direct or an inverse relationship. Or indirect would be another word that you could use. Um, the amount of food you intake and your weight. That's a direct relationship. The more you eat, the more your weight goes up. The less you eat, 
your weight goes down or your weight decreases. You decrease your food in intake, 